Hi guys, my name is Sabine and welcome to another video. Today I will be talking to you guys about the worst reads of 2019. I started 2020 on a high note and I let you guys know which were the best books that I read in 2019. But of course, you don't always have the ups in life in general, but you also have the down points. I have read three books which I really thought were the worst reads of 2019. Overall, I think I had a pretty good reading year. I read quite some books. I've also done some comparing between my reading throughout 2014 until 2019, and I found it really quite interesting. And I was wondering if you guys were interested in my reading over the past years as well. But in 2019, I read much more disappointing reads than like, wor bleh, than like worse reads sometimes speaking. Oh my God. So I was also also wondering if maybe I should also make a most disappointing books of 2019 because I have many more books which I thought were gonna be so much more amazing and turned out to be okay but today I will be talking to you guys about three books which I did not really enjoy and for this video I'm gonna work my way up from least worst to worst worst if I can say something like that so the first one that I want to talk about is opposite of always by Justin A Reynolds just now I was like doubting if I should just put this one on my most disappointing list as well because it's not that this was the worst book ever but it definitely disappointed me. The premise just sounded amazing. So our main character is Jack. He meets Kate at a party. And from the moment that he meets her, he falls head over heels in love with her. And they sort of like start to hang out a lot and kind of get into like a relationship. But eventually some time passes and Kate passes too. <laughs> she dies. Not a spoiler, that's just the premise of this book. All of a sudden Jack is back at the party and he meets Kate again and it's like, what is happening? So he gets stuck in like this time loop. It's kind of like time traveling. He travels back in time to when he met Kate and he kind of sees this as like, okay, I can save Kate. Like, what should I do? I'm, I'm gonna do my best to save her. Yeah, just in order to save Kate, other things happen as well. And Jack kind of has to choose with what he's doing. The thing is, I don't even remember anymore how this story ended. And I finished this book like two months ago. That's not like really, great I guess but also this book is so so cheesy like don't get me wrong I love a good romance and I really like to root for characters but Jack was such a romantic maybe not even romantic he was just so incredibly cheesy just how he described things I mean I get it Jack you're in love when you're in love everything is just amazing and I mean I've had the same things too I still have it but maybe I'm also just super realistic and I can put things much more in perspective than Jack for me personally everyone has their own opinions this was just way too cheesy and it kind of made me like gag the whole time yeah so it was a quick read and it wasn't like the worst but certain decisions that jack made or just not telling his friends certain things and just doing everything for kate just seemed completely out of the blue especially keeping in mind that when jack was at that party where he met kate he came there with one of his best friends who he was still in love with at that party and when he met kate all of a sudden, his crush went from his childhood best friend to Kate out of nowhere. If I would put myself into Jack's situation and I would be there with my crush and I met someone new, it just doesn't completely go away in one go. But again, everyone has their own opinions. Some of you guys might just believe in love at first sight. I personally, I don't know. I don't know. I found that the love between Jack and Kate was super insta love and that is one of my pet peeves in books. My opinion, I'm sorry. So I believe I gave this one like a two and a half to a three out of five stars, which still isn't that bad. Because to be honest, I haven't read like really, really bad books in 2019. I haven't given any book a one star rating. But my second book, this is The Manifesto on How to Be Interesting by Holly Bourne. Look at the cool pages though. That's the only plus point about this book. I read Am I Normal Yet by Holly Bourne as well. And you guys might have seen that one in my favorite books of 2020, little spoiler alert. I loved it so incredibly much that book so I decided to continue on with reading more of this author's work. I already bought this book once when it was like in a sale for five euros and it did sound interesting after I kind of knew how Holly Bourne's writing style was and how she told the story and what she stood for, feminism, friendship, stuff like that. I was like okay this is gonna be good. We follow Brie and Brie is definitely not a popular kid. She feels like she's just so normal and that she doesn't do any fun things. She writes a manifesto which 
I don't know what that translates to in my language in Dutch. I don't know. She kind of writes this this plan of things that she needs to do and then she thinks she's gonna be popular or she's gonna be relevant. This book definitely had some good elements in it. If you are triggered by things like self-harm, do not read this book because this does have that in it. So many things that Brie did were just so wrong. I don't know, just kind of like cheating and hating on girls and just not hanging out with your friends anymore in order to become popular. It was against Brie's morals as well and she said that in the book too but still she was gonna do it on one hand i'm like it's kind of the point but i still find it stupid so i was constantly like brie what the hell girl like why it was just an overall really really big disappointment for me because i thought i'm gonna enjoy this book so incredibly much i loved am i normal yet this one i do not recommend for people to read this book one thing though is that this book holly Bourne wrote this one before the am i normal yet series so i can definitely see that she has improved as a writer but if I would have read this book before Am I Normal Yet I wouldn't be so sure to pick up another Holly Bourne book as well so don't read this one it's not that great I think I gave this one like a two or a two and a half out of five stars it was just not that amazing <laughs> and then the last book that I have to show you guys I think if you have followed me ever since April or May you probably know me from this video or you have definitely seen it it is the biggest video that I've ever uploaded and I never thought it would be that big the worst book that I read in 2019 is again but better by Christine Riccio I'm so sorry for all the people that I offended in my initial review video of this book I definitely was naive about certain things in this story but I made a response video on that one in which I explained or just agreed with your guys's opinions but still that doesn't change me not liking this book I was really excited very curious to pick this one up because Christine is Paul and Banana's books and if you are familiar with the booktube community you know who she is she's the most famous booktuber here on YouTube and the premise of this story sounded right up my alley our main character is Shane and she feels like she's been doing college all wrong she just studies she doesn't have that many friends and she believes that if she she goes to London if she studies abroad she can kind of make a new start and do college over her parents however believe that she's gonna do like med school there in London as well but she's actually gonna do more like a literature program so she's keeping that a secret from her parents if you guys want to see my full review on this book I will leave a link to that video somewhere here up on the screen but do keep in mind watch my response video as well because I do explain things a little bit further or I react to certain reactions from you guys so that's definitely a great addition to my initial review I still don't like this book I don't I don't, I don't, I don't. I didn't like the writing style. It was so extremely quirky, like a little bit too quirky for me. Also, I thought that the main character Shane was so extremely clumsy. Like I am really clumsy myself, so that shouldn't be like a judgment thing for me. But she was just doing the same things over and over again and it just annoyed me. I'm sorry, I can't change that. Also the jokes and the puns and the references, it was just all a little too much and I found the humor to not be my type of humor. Plus there is also insta love in this book. Again, Again, a pet peeve of mine. Sometimes it can be worked out just okay and then it doesn't bother me, but this one again was just from page one that she met this character. She was in love with him. Spoiler alert, if you don't want to know this about the book, there is time travel in this book as well, which was just such a random thing thrown into this plot. I really didn't like this book. I'm so sorry. I definitely think that Christine can like improve on certain things, so I might pick up one of her books in the future, but I'm not too sure about it. So I gave this one a two out of five stars because I can definitely see that it's like cute and it, it has some fun elements in it, but it was just not for me. I personally wouldn't recommend it, but you gotta judge for yourself. <laughs> so those were the three books which I really didn't enjoy in 2019. Also, let me know in the comments down below which were your worst books of 2019. I always find it very interesting to see if we have opposing opinions or if we kind of have the same. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and you can subscribe to my channel by clicking somewhere here on the screen or on the button down below. You guys can also follow me on all of my different social media pages. So because I'm a booktuber, of course I have Goodreads, but I also have Snapchat, Instagram, plus an email address. And links to those are also in the description box down below. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that I will see you in the next one. Bye!